Hey guys, um, I wanted to talk about uh, everything that I'm doing to glow up. Um, so I haven't been, I don't know, I just uh, never really thought too much about what I look like. Not too much, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, like. I guess I was like so confident in everything I believed. I didn't even really think about myself. Like just kind of thought about other people, you know? Um, and, but let's see. Um, yeah, I was just like thinking about other people and I found that like so much of um, attracting people to your life is your vibe, you know? Um, it's just like the vibe you're giving off. <laughs> um, and yeah. So, uh, but then I, I, I went through this thing. I was like, man, I, I, uh, I just want to be like more holistic about it and about, um, attracting people to my life to be able to love them. And, just affect their lives, lives, you know? Um, so I was like, I guess I'll just do this too, you know? Um, cause I don't know. You just want to improve in every area of life, you know? Um, so, uh, what I've been doing because I want to, I want to look like a warrior. <laughs> I want to look like, um, Braveheart, Aragorn. Um, so let's see. Um, I guess it's been like, well, I don't know. It depends on how you think about it, but I've been always working on myself, I guess. But, um, working out, I mean, really pretty consistently for a while, I guess. Um, really consistently for probably the last six months or something like that. Um, I go to the gym three times a week. I do, um, it's like a personal thing where I only like to do things on, uh, with the barbell, um, with the weights and like, I don't know. I just don't like using machines. It just feels less masculine for some reason. Like I just like to use the, um, the free weights, you know, it feels like more like, I don't know. Warriors didn't have like machines back in the day. <laughs> so, um, I just like to use the free weights. Um, I do like all compound workouts pretty much except for curls. So I do like deadlifts, squats, bench press, rows, and overhead press. And then I do curls also. Um, and I do different things three times a week. Like I have a, um, I have a um, bench press and curls day, Monday, and then Wednesday, leg day, is deadlifts and squats. And then Friday I have like back, upper back, lower back, rows, and, uh, overhead press, you know, shoulders and stuff. Um, and then my lower back is, I mean, it's in every one of those workouts. Like the compound workouts are just great. Like I don't even work out my abs. Um, and, and it, it, I don't know, it's great. You're just flexing your abs for like every one of those exercises, like legit. So you don't even have to worry about it. Um, but yeah, so like strength training. Um, and then I eat like so much, like I must have a super high metabolism. I'm 23 and, um, like people still say I'm skinny, you know? <laughs> um, like I just, I don't know. I eat more than anyone I know. Um, like as much as I can, like I eat as much as I can at every meal. Um, when I'm working out, um, I just eat an insane amount and you can't even like, I've never been fat ever. Like I can't even, you know, so right now I'm just like really, um, fit and lean. Like I'm not even trying to get really big, but put on a little more muscle. Um, so yeah, um, I've been doing that for a while and then, oh geez, what else? I guess I bought these clothes. Um, cause you know, that's just like what I'm going for. Like warrior stuff. I got the, I got the boots. I got a sword. Um, all that kind of stuff. My hair was a huge deal, man. Um, I grew up my hair for a while. But then I was like trying to hone in on exactly what I was looking for. I didn't know anything about hair for a while. Um, 
aisle with like shampoo and like whatever whatever my mom told me to you know put in my hair i just did it i like shampooed my hair like every time i showered now i um i shampoo my hair like twice a week um so i shampoo my hair twice a week um and then i use this thing called glass hair water to get my hair to look um like more shiny and um darker so and then i got a haircut and i got a perm a while ago um but yeah right now my hair is just it's pretty it's really straight if i don't do anything with it but every time after i shower now um i'll put glass hair water in my hair in the shower and then afterwards i put um curl cream in my hair and then i put a whole bunch of gel called wet look because that's what i'm going for like a like a wet look kind of thing um so where it stays like looking damp um i try i'm working on it still uh so i do that and then i scrunch up my hair um i scrunch up my hair to make it curly and i hold it for like 15 seconds in like a ton of different places and yeah i don't know it takes like i don't know maybe it takes like three minutes or four minutes or something with all that um and then it ends up really curly i'm trying to get it to where it stays but i also don't want to spend like a ton of time on it so i've seen improvements in it and how i want it to look and i like to do like a um like this middle part but i only like to do that when it's um when it's curly like right now it's lost a lot of its curl from my shower yesterday yesterday or today um yeah so then like I don't like how it looks a ton like and i don't like how it looks if it's straight um so yeah so i think it looks better flipping it or something like that um so i do that i think that's all i do with my hair um yeah and then i'll like sometimes i'll like redo the whole process in the morning i'll wet it and like put more gel in it and everything um and then I've used a blow dryer a little bit, but like, it's kind of like, that's not really what I'm going for. I kind of want it to keep like that wet look. Um, like I think Aragorn looks super dope in Lord of the Rings when he, when he's like in battle and it like has that sweaty look. I don't know. Um, so I really like it and it, and it smells good with the products I put in it. It smells good too. So it's not like it's actually like that, you know? Um, and then what else? Um, let's see eyebrows um i've been let's see i'll probably do more with my eyebrows in the future i've been putting minoxidil um or i just started doing that like here i want to fill out my my facial hair so i've got minoxidil and i just started it um i'm hoping to like fill out my beard and have like stubble you know have like a little bit of stubble and then probably keep what i have here i like the goatee and i like the facial hair right now um but i might want to do like thicker eyebrows like I don't know how probably probably a little bit of minoxidil there um so that and then oh huge one is my jaw i i didn't really have like a good jawline before um no if i clench my teeth you can see it really good i can like flex it a lot um i don't know if you see that but yeah so i chewed a ton of gum i chewed a whole bunch of gum and i saw like a huge difference in my jawline so that's really cool um anyways um chewing a ton of gum and that made it just make like a lot a lot more pronounced and stuff so that's really cool oh that's what it was mewing um i don't know if you guys have heard of mewing but you always keep your tongue on the roof of your mouth like this uh I don't know it's like you got to keep the, your whole tongue on the roof of your mouth all the time and breathe through your nose if you breathe through your mouth um then your whole face like sags and it can cause your jawline to look off and like your cheekbones not your cheekbones it looks like the skin here to go down and then your eyes look like droopy and whatever so you always have to um keep your tongue on the roof of your mouth and breathe through your nose just like all the time so i got these um breathing strips also for at night to cover my mouth so i just breathe through my nose i don't think i've ever really been um a mouth breather i i don't know i can't really remember but like i i think i like whenever like i think about mewing quite a bit and try to just breathe through my nose all the time um so that's great mewing can have like an incredible effect on your face like if you're a mouth breather 
your face can totally change. Like it's if it's like if you're under 25, you'll see significant changes. Um, you'll still see a difference, I think, a little bit um, if you're over 25. Like still do it, but um, it's more significant if you're under 25. So you just kind of like keep your tongue on the roof of your mouth and breathe through your nose. Um, yeah, so that takes time. Like that'll you'll see the results for that over a long period of time but um yeah i started doing that a while ago um to just improve it can change the shape of your face and everything um so that and then um i wear cologne a lot um i'm through the week i'm like doing construction so i mean like i'm not too concerned about it i'm like i'm not like going out with friends and stuff you know um, but that, and then for my, um, eye bags, like I have like eye bags, like all the time. So I use a, an eye cream, um, and I put it under my eyes every day or after every shower. Um, and then I have this, uh, this, uh, makeup for men called, called, uh, war paint, war paint. Yeah. And I got the tone, the shade of my um, skin color and I put a little bit of that under here so I think it I think it makes it look a little better but um, you'll just look people you'll look more attractive if um, you don't have the eye bags and you look more alert and stuff like that um, and then what else uh, let's see as far as eating I eat as much as I can I'm not um, I'm not super concerned um, about what I eat. I, I could be more concerned. Um, and I'm trying to be, I gotta, I gotta, it's just like time for me kind of like, it takes a lot of time to prepare like really good meals for yourself. Um, so I get like, um, healthy drinks and like drink those a lot. Or I'll try to eat a bunch of veggies and stuff like that. Um, and then I don't know, I eat a lot of, um, beef and potatoes chicken and rice is good and stuff yeah but um yeah i'm gonna probably research as well like um how i can make better gains and stuff but um yeah so that's as far as diet um and then let's see uh flossing i got back into flossing i wasn't doing it for a little while um flossing and um let's see yeah that's that's about it that's um that's a good amount of things um i i was i've been thinking more about style um for like as far as glow up and whatever um so i figured like out some outfits and whatever but i mean i just really like to wear this <laughs> um i think it's really dope um I got like a leather jacket and stuff and like a dress shirt and that outfit looks really good but um it's not like exactly my style you know like this is just totally my style um so like improving yourself whatever isn't going to look the same for every person like at the end of the day like there's a lot of similarities but then like there's a lot of area for your own style and everything too um I wear a necklace all the time like generally wearing a necklace will make you look more attractive and then for like a lot of guys will say wearing an earring that's not my type like i can i get it though like that's cool and then people will say tattoos also not my type um maybe in the future but i would have to really think about what i want to get and stuff um but yeah tattoos are super cool um yeah, I don't know if I would get one. I haven't really thought about it, but, um, yeah, so all those things, and then posture, um, mewing will naturally affect your posture, like, when you're breathing through your mouth, you're, you're gonna want to arch forward, like, your body will just want to do that in order to breathe through your mouth, but, um, when you're breathing through your nose, you're able to stand up straight and, um, have your, put your neck back, you know, and, like, have your shoulders be back, and you're just going to want to like, uh, with breathing through your mouth, you're naturally going to want to slouch forward. But yeah, I always try to keep, um, my posture straight up, um, just straight, you know? 
Um, and then I do do my eyebrows. I put like a little, like a little thing in there, like a little gel in there to keep them how I like to, how I like them. I think that's about it. Um, but, uh, yeah, guys, that's about it. Um, one big thing is that when you're working out a lot, you're actually using your face muscles like a ton, um, like with straining, like with the hard workout, whatever. And it can just make you look so much better. And obviously I'm, I've never had a problem with being lean, but, um, you definitely want to, uh, just lose as much fat as you can to, um, to really bring out the definition in your face, whatever. Um, yeah, my hair is, uh, I really like it. I might get, um, a little trim in the, in the future or whatever. Um, I might go longer again. I don't know. Um, but I really like it right now. I'd like it to be a little more curly and I'm working on it. Um, trying to get that look, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, and I think, uh, when I get that, that stubble, that'll look really good too. Um, I don't know how long that'll take, maybe a few months. Um, but that'll be really awesome as well. So, um, I wish y'all the best. Um, I think that being attractive is just like super important, you know, um, like it's just if you are um attractive and you have an attractive vibe about you you know it makes it so much easier to love people interact with people and um people are just attracted to you so um yeah i was it was just in this thing of like wanting to be um holistically more attractive to be able to affect people better um uh, I think it's a really awesome thing. Um, and people just, you ha you carry more, um, you just affect people's lives better when you're, when you look more awesome. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, just going for that to be able to affect people's lives better. Um, yeah, and maybe some of this helped, I don't know. Um. But yeah, hope y'all have an epic day. Catch y'all later.